I'm not gonna lie to you guys, July and August 2023 are not looking good for game releases. So we are gonna be digging deep into our Steam wishlist trenches, hoping to find some fun, exciting, and different things to play. And we are gonna be starting with its only money. So uh, from what I understand, this is kind of like a GTA style game. You start off as a petty street criminal. You work your way up into building businesses, becoming a legit businessman. So not really sure what to expect. It's not the biggest game in the world, but the reviews are good so far and it looked interesting to me. So let's check it out. To be honest, I feel like this is gonna be one of those games that sneaks up on us and becomes, you know, kind of a, a classic here on the channel. So we'll see what happens. We got a short, messy haircut here, clean shaven face, hair color, kind of a blondish, maybe a little bit darker, looks good, apply all that. Ah, look at you, Rockhaven's chosen to be here working 12 hour a day shifts in this delectable factory. Our city will become the brightest in America, a beacon of hope. Okay. And it's on the back of hard work, hard work that you, your families, and your next of kin will provide. All right, this guy is, is obviously public enemy number one already. Our Mayor Mart products, such as the irresistible food puck, are being prepared for shipping nationwide. It all starts here in Rockhaven. What a city, only I, the newly elected mayor, could execute in a vision so robust, so rotund, and so full of body, like yourself, sir. Old Henry Ford over here. I feel I must remind you during your shift when your mind says trivial nothings like I'm tired, or I wish I had a job that respected my individual interests and dreams, you must ignore such base impulses. Rockhaven is a team. Rockhaven is a family. A family must thresh and toil for a brighter tomorrow built on our own backs okay so we're gonna escape this grind this corporate nine to five is not our business congrats employee designation number 33 you have been promoted to food puck technician take pride in supplying rock haven and beyond with these nutritious dense powdery pucks if you have any questions or problems with your new tasking please keep it to yourself mayor mart industries have a zero tolerance policy for needing help days off or it's just hard right now situations. Suboptimal performance will be punished severely. Get familiar with your workstations. The shift begins soon. Okay, so well, oh, we, we got a, a problem over here. We've got a machine that needs fixing. We wanna keep this in the, the middle here. Keep it on the green. We should be able to fix it, complete the repairs. We've got another repair over here. Oh, we're, we're lock picking, beautiful. All right, that one's done. We've got one over here. Oh, cut in the order of the lights. Red. Blue, green, red. Red, blue, green, red. Doesn't matter which one we choose. Okay, those are all good. Talk to Owen. Owen's over here. How you doing, Owen? They got you in here too, bro? Come on. Why, hello there, fellow worker. First day in the job, huh? Well, I've been here a good uh, 40 years now. Wasn't always a Mayor Mart factory. We used to make real food. Things people would actually like to eat, like beautiful salad. But I digress, and I should say out loud for the record, I really love working here, and I'm so looking forward to my retirement tomorrow. I know they like to uh, throw you in the deep end here, but it's a simple job. Once the conveyor starts, those three machines you tinkered with like to break. You have to repair them to keep the manufacturing process going. Word of the wise kid, don't let your line break down for long. The uh, guards here you get real violent, violent real quick. Just one more day and I get a cash out. Let's get through it, kid. Owen, I got you, baby. We're gonna keep this thing running like a grease pig. Keep the machines running. Here we go. So we just need to be as quick as possible. I feel like these are the, the games that we're gonna be using to make money. We're what? Picking pockets. Um, what, this is like hot wiring cars or something or defusing bombs or... Let's watch this. Red, green, blue, blue. Beautiful. Got this one here. We're good, Owen. Oh, another one went down. Here we go. Red, green, green, red. Beautiful, that one's going. Now we got this one again. Ah, first try, that's what I'm talking about. I'm guessing this one next. Your boy is on top of things. Owen, I wanna get you out of here, man. 40 years is, is 40 years too long for you, my guy. Blue, red, blue, blue. Dude, we are on top of it. This one hasn't broken yet. Talk to Owen again. Heck of a shift, kid. I uh, hesitate to say it, but the last person on your station decided to take a one minute sit down and got dragged out of here faster than you can say food pot. Can't believe I'm out of here tomorrow. I have a feeling he's not gonna be out of here tomorrow. Take it from me, as long as you keep your station operational, you'll be paid, you go home, you can have a decent little life. 
That sounds like the most terrible, awful lifestyle. Oh no, stop it. Get your hands off me. Is it a crime to enjoy a succulent conversation with a coworker? Owen, no. Gosh, I say, guy, he's getting drug out of here. What is happening? Owen. Employee number 33, you are hereby ordered to pull a double shift. The production machines on Owen's line are interoperable. Therefore, you'll be expected to work at 2,000% pace to make up for his mistakes. Do not stumble or you'll share his fate. Good luck and enjoy your new shift. Work at 2,000% efficiency. Okay, this is absolutely disastrous here. Just unzipping the pockets on this. Oh, 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 stop it on this machine. That is, is harder than it looks. Employee number 33, you have failed to keep pace. You are hereby fired and will be removed from the building immediately. Oh, oh, no, no. Come on, baby. Give it to me. Let's go. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, oh. Uh. Oh, we've got kicking. Woo. Knock him out. What's the Q? Q is the power punch. Oh, gosh, there's too many of them, dude. Hold on. So F is kick. Uh, we tried our best. They're hitting us with the hands. Oh. Okay. They, they caught a few hands, though. Mayor's operational vagrant removal. I'm locked up. They won't let me out. I'm going to be honest. I think getting fired... Getting fired on the first day is probably better than spending 40 years in that joint. So that's the mayor's tower. That's gonna be, we gotta work our way up to that. I'm pretty sure this game was made by like five guys in New Zealand or something. Like legitimately just a five man team. I see you, Sean. <laughs> what is wrong? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I mean, I kind of like it. The art style, the... Oh, we got snails. Uh, it, it's, it's a vibe so far. It's like an early days GTA, you know what I mean? Gonna have to work our way up. Got fired from Serial Handshaker Wanted. I'm so confused, dude. So this is Rock Haven. This is home. It's only money. It's just paper. But you gotta make it. This is a nice soundtrack, dude. Put this on, like, editing, studying, whatever. They're throwing us into the sewers? Okay. Quite a ride, huh? This is the Beggar King. Got a runny nose, dude, I've been sick. You can probably hear it in my voice. Finally feel better. Uh, I know you're probably confused. Maybe you even bumped your head on the way down. They call me BK, the Beggar King. This place is what awaits anyone who catches the wrong end of that little punk mayor. Myself and others have quietly carved out a space to survive among the sewers. We call it the Undercity. Beggar King of the Undercity. It's a lot to take in, but you've officially been deemed trash like the rest of us. Take a moment to wander around. Find a corner to call your own, and when you're ready, come talk to me. As nice as it is living next to pipes and snails, we have a plan to take our city back. Okay. 
So, I mean, we started from the bottom and now we're even lower, but we can work our way back. I'm gonna pause and go wipe my nose. So this is home, the dungeon. Look at this, got a nice little bar. I mean, it's not, you know, for a sewer, it's not, it's not terrible. We can work with this. I'm gonna go talk to BK. We're gonna see what we got. Looks like uh, zero dollars in our pocket. Really starting from nothing, but self-made, baby. Let's take this city back. Or maybe I'm getting ahead of myself. First step, pickpocketing. Pickpocketing is an essential skill for any undercity resident. Take the great trash pipe back up to Rockhaven. Steal any three items from folks topside. Rockhaven citizens are like walking treasure chests. Once you have enough stuff, take it to a pawn shop. They don't ask questions, they'll buy whatever you've got for cash. It's weird, you'd think they'd refuse certain items, but nope. With the cash you earn, take it into a mayor mart, buy a food puck. They're totally gross and taste like powder, but it beats a grumbly tum-tum. We've got uh, health, we've got food, we've got stamina down there on the bottom. Observing people is a key to success in the streets of Rock Haven. Point your cursor at someone and use the follow button. This will lock you onto the person, help you learn info about them while locked on. Your character will tail the target automatically. Interesting. So we want to find somebody who's worthwhile to pickpocket. We are up here topside. And it's time for the Undercity Resident to strike back. What do we think? Mr. Pink Shirt here. If you got a pink shirt, I'm going to follow. Rich, he's a hard task here. Looks like he knows how to fight. He's aggressive. He's a ghost hunter, always trying to convince people to like them. All right, I'm, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to pickpocket. I'm gonna see... Beautiful. All right. Retro controller worth 30 bucks. Works for me. So we want to get three items. I'm gonna go over here. I, I mean, I, I kind of feel a little bit bad rich. All right. If you're rich, I'm getting after it. Come on, baby. Peter Pan style. Got that. Another controller. A lot of gamers around here. Let me see what's going on with this dude. Rich. All right. Everyone's rich. Although I imagine in general, most people are rich compared to us, right? Take the item. Military walkie-talkie. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna keep going. Let's just keep, keep taking what we can. Got that. A chunkin' fish can. Decent. I. I don't. I don't mess with decent. I don't mess with decent. We're going for rich. Another rich guy. Here we go. Gotta feed my people down underneath in the sewers. How you doing, girl? You. You. You got money? She's rich. All right. In that case, I'm getting after it. I love how you can just pickpocket people, and there's. There's tons of. People around that just don't don't care. I'm just walking around, reaching in her pocket, taking her stuff. Another retro controller. Oh, oh, oh. That guy has a problem with me for some reason. I don't know why. He's He's got his little exclamation mark. I think he's coming after us. We gotta go, we gotta go. Are we not supposed to be up here? Hey, hey, calm down. Remember, I got kicks. Come on, baby. Not today. Let me loot him real quick. He's unconscious. What can I do with him? Should I move him somewhere? Should I hide him? Should I, should I kill him? Oh, he just disappeared. Okay, beautiful. We got a, a camera for it. Found Trenchtown Pawn. How you doing? Offering a trade. I mean, I'm gonna, can I just sell everything? Confirm the amounts there. Let me, let me sell all of these. Turnover brand basketball. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't need any of this stuff. We've got a, a mouse here. I'll sell that. Cheapo tech camera. Should I sell this as well? Withdraw away consumable. I don't know if I should have sold that bear. It's all right. We got $145. That feels good. Gonna take this newfound cash. There's a food puck in here. Okay. Mayor Mart food puck. Rejoice citizens of Rock Cave and no longer do you need a 30 minute lunch break when you can consume a quick puck. Get back to work. Get back to being productive. Got one of these. New kid on the block. When you get a chance, come to Willie Memorial Park, says hot dog man. So these are our, our jobs, I believe. Trini needs a car stolen for her cousin. Learn how the bounty system works in Rock Haven. Help Nana deal with some hooligans. Show up that in his pack of goons. Meet a mysterious figure who just texted us. I'm gonna track that. So that's kind of our, our mission list, I guess, is, is get a job. We got 200 bucks already. All right, we are working our way up, baby. I mean, ideally, if we see anyone out on the streets, we're just gonna, we're gonna keep, we're gonna keep getting after it, right? We should just pickpocket as much as we possibly should can. Got it. Ooh, people don't stop for you in the street. All right, we're gonna have to remember that. Oh my goodness, look at the cars we are rolling with. We got the Ferrari and we got the Aventador. Can I lockpick this? Requires a screwdriver. We're gonna have to get a screwdriver then. All right, a man with no name. Let's see what's going on here. Hot dog man. Looks like he... He's been fighting some movers. That's what I'm talking about, baby. We're on the same team. Let's 
this Spider-Man? I see snails flipping all over the place. Should I take the snails? Another snail over here. What are these for? They're worth $2. Okay, talk to Hot Dog Man. If it isn't the Mayor Mart factory worker turned under citizen. Been keeping an eye on you and the Beggar King. What the mayor's done here in Rock Haven isn't unique. Perhaps the most brazen example of a takeover. But make no mistake, when the people give an inch, bad boys like the mayor will take a mile. If you really want to take back your city, you're going to need to get your hands dirty. Here's an opportunity. A couple of movers are approaching. I'll leave them to you. Show me what you can do. Oh, just hopping straight into it. All right, here we go. Gotta wait, gotta wait, gotta wait. Let our let our kick open back up, and then we can knock them out. If we knock them over, big time there. Let's take it. Loot them up. Before they disappear into the, the underbelly. Beautiful. You're not one for words, but I could see your hands work just fine. That'll have to do. Give me your phone. Installed the Wiener application. Don't laugh. I worked very hard on it. Wiener interfaces with my hot dog carts throughout the city. We track the location and activities of movers, mayor goons, and serve up tasks and accolades that can make a difference here in Rock Haven. I know you and the king intend to strike at the mayor soon. I plan to do the same. Get some people behind you, and I'll send another text when it's time to move. Oh, uh, you could save me as hot dog man in your phone. People just sort of call me that. The reasons are probably obvious. <laughs> Continue the fight, and we'll link soon. Okay, so we just got Hot Dog Man as a, uh, you know, a, 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 an asset to the cause. What is this? Wooden branches? Okay. So we, uh, there's obviously some sort of, of crafting going on. Oh, 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 no, you don't. Woo, let's go. Knock him into the bench. How did I just, did I pick up his, his nightstick? Rummage through the trash? Found three bucks. I'll take this. Yes, yeah, somehow we got a nightstick. I'm not sure how I got this, but I, I enjoy it. Now, we are hungry, so I'm thinking we go back. We need to buy some more food pucks. This is the Mayor Mart. Food pucks are going to be the way to go as of right now. There's, looks like, ten in stock. So I'm just going to, I'm going to buy a bunch of these. I don't, I don't think we applied it yet, though. Manage me? Ah, here we go. Okay, here's a food puck. Use item. So that should, it doesn't do a whole lot, but it does a little bit. So if we eat like two or three of these, that should get us up to ship shape. So if we want to start stealing cars, we have a mission here to, you know, it's probably kind of the introduction to it. Let's see where we want to go. Car delivery. Another s snail over here. Not sure what these are for, but we're going to keep picking them up. Hey, you're the new Undercity Runner, right? My name's Trini. I help out where I can too. I used to work a typical nine to five at North End Furniture until, well, you know, mayor decided that wasn't enough of a salary to allow living in the city. Could really use a hand. I have to scavenge a food run for the folks down in the undercity. But my cousin, Welty, texted me. Welty's car got cordoned off when the mayor closed the bridges. He has a totally bad leg. During the Great Emu War, he was rushed by three of them and they pecked it relentlessly. He can barely walk these days. Why are you looking at me like that? You don't remember the Great Emu War of 2002? Guess it doesn't matter. Point is, I promised Welty I'd drop him a car off. In a real hard spot, can you help? Pick your mark, wait for it to come close, then jump into the car and force the driver out. Be careful though, jacking a car puts a big bounty on your head. In day-to-day -day life, do it as a last resort. Thanks for your help. Welty's a good guy. He really has dedicated his life to keeping this city safe. So you want me to, to carjack somebody? Oh, oh, why is everyone doing this to me? Come on, man. I'm just trying to live my life up here and be an upstanding citizen of this, this community by stealing everything and anything I can find. Dude, there's so much stuff going on. That, uh, we can purchase clothes? Bo Chumby Trench Town? Okay, I'm, I'm not buying clothes right now. We want to jack a moving car. We're going to go find a car. I remember seeing cars out here. What is this? Oh, tools. Hold on, tools, tools, tools. We've got pliers, allows the player to attempt a hotwire action consumed after use. For five bucks, I'll go for it. Screwdriver tool, attempt to unlock parked cars and other locks consumed after use. So that's how we hotwire. I'm gonna buy a, a couple of these. I think these are restocked at midnight. I was reading in that tutorial, so. I don't think it wants us to, to hotwire a car yet. I think it wants us to car jack. Is this a good one? Steal. Let's go. Oh, 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 oh. All right, we got it. Let's go. Time to go. Park the car in the highlighted zone. We got to go this way. Excuse me, officer. Nothing to see here. Totally did not just 
beat up the man back there and take his car. Can I just drive it down the steps? Oh, all right. We're good. Talk with Welty. Nicely done. That's what I'm talking about. You're Trini's friend. Name's Weltonian Jeeves. My brothers in arms call me Welty. I dedicate my life to ensuring the great horrors of the 2002 Emu War never happen again. If you ever get sick of the trivial day-to-day -day grind and want to dedicate yourself to a real cause, seek me out. Here's to a future without birds that can't fly. Okay. I, you do your thing, bro. That's not for me. Ooh, we got a bounty ticket. So our bounty's up in the top left at 75 right now. And as the bounty gets worse, the cops will start coming after you and seeking you out. And so, Oh my goodness. Are you okay? I mean, just to add insult to injury, I'm going to go for it. <laughs> just got ran over and then robbed in the process. Got an old calculator. Beautiful. I mean, I'm I'm just going to keep pickpocketing everybody in, in sight. Ultimately, we want to make money, right? So might as well do what we can. Got an air horn. Beautiful. We're, we're getting achievements for being a thief. I love it. I mean, it, it, this seems like a, a, you know, everybody wins in this situation. Minus the person having stuff taken from them. Oh, we got some. Oh, oh, he's fighting the car. All right. Well, he got, he got ran over. I'm, I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him. He's got to have something good. Oh, he's quick. He's quick. He's got to have something good. Got to have something good. Come on. Got an air horn. Buy, sell, anything we can't say no. So this is another pawn shop, huh? Ooh. Pay our bounty. Do we want to? This is only for bounties? Do I want to pay off the whole thing? So now I'm I'm not owed anything. Oh, this, this is an, only a place where you can pay your bounty. We also have an ATM. Do we want to deposit our cash? Account has reached its deposit limit. Please upgrade your account. How do you upgrade the account? I'm assuming this is kind of like a, you know, if we get arrested or whatever, they can't take our money in our bank account, which is not how it works in real life. But, you know, if we can save our money in this game, that'd be pretty good. I thought this was going to be another place where we could sell things. We're getting a bit of an inventory here. Let's see. Uh, I mean, let's just hop back into our get a job, see what we've got next. Uh, learn how the bounty system works in Rockhaven. I mean, we've already fixed our bounty but let's talk to this dude good morning or afternoon evening i don't know name's ranger i guard the entrance to the undercity i've seen you coming and going a couple of times now helping out the beggar king ah to be productive i just sort of sit here saying good morning and stuff i take it you're the reason there's been a few more sirens blaring and cops walking around right nice work love it when the boys in blue have to work overtime it's not all good news the more crimes you do the more the city puts a bounty on your head don't worry, there's ways to get around it. I think we've already done this. You simply pay your problems away. Let's put it to practice. Earn some bounty by being an absolute dickhead in Rock Haven. Then visit a bounty office and get it cleared right away. Why don't you leave me alone? Please and thank you. My goodness, that doesn't give us any sort of a bounty though. I'll, I'll take his stuff. He had 50 cash on him. I guess to get a bounty, we're just gonna have to steal a car. You got a nice car here. Let me Let me take this. Beautiful. All right. $75 for Grand Theft Auto. I feel like these snails have to be important. I, I'm seeing these snails everywhere, so I'm going to keep picking them up. Also, these always have red over them. Oh, oh. Oh, are those... Is that... That's a weapon. It's a stick that we picked up. We hop back in our car here. Somehow we have this Ferrari... Oh, assault. $15 more on our bounty. It says it wants $10, $10 more bounty. Well, what does murder do? Oh. Okay, we, we, we're a petty criminal. We've got a, a for real bounty now. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know what's going on. Oh, they're coming after us. I gotta pay my bounty. I don't want to assault a police officer. Hold on. This counts as a bounty office too, right? Let me pay this off real quick. Let me... Ah! No! No, you don't. I'm gonna loop from the, the dead cop right in front of his buddy. That Yeah, that's that's right. I didn't think you guys had anything to say. Let me, let me pay off the whole bounty. Are we good? We're clear. I don't know if that was in the, the right... Bot. It looks like it wanted us to go to a different bounty office, but we're gonna be fine. I can't believe we're already whipping a, a supercar in this game, dude. This is this is amazing. Talk about a come up. Let me just move these out of the way. This is another bounty office. Well, well, well. I know that mug. Rock Haven's most wanted this side of the Hammond River. Bob's gonna bring you down. Just kidding. Ranger called ahead. Let's give you a rundown on how Bob's bounty works. It's simple. You bring cash, we make the bounty go away. In reality, we should be handing you to the cops, but we have a much more profitable way of doing things. Meet my cousin Mitchell. Hi. You see, Mitchell's the fall guy. We stroll him down to the PD and convince them we caught the latest bad guy. 
Mitchell's a very unremarkable looking guy, so they buy it hook, line, and sinker every time. I have to be honest. I don't love my job. I especially don't enjoy having to serve the prison sentences. I miss my passionate as always. Sorry. He tends to rant. Mitchell really is the best employee going in these parts. Typically, the money you'll bring in to make your crimes go away gets paid to Mitchell. But this time, we'll let you have a freebie. Oh, shoot. I didn't agree to this. Conversation over. I paid it. It's fine. All right. We're we're looking good. But I mean, if this if it's if it's free this time, we we could go out and and cause a bit more of a ruckus. What what do we want to do? Again, what what does murder entail? Assault. There's money flying everywhere. Is she, okay, so she's she's dead. Now we can loot her. Does that give us an old calculator? Yeah, that doesn't really do a whole lot for me. Got a new bounty as a, a petty criminal. All right, we got $18 out of that. Oops, oop, somebody else. Oh, what's up, bro? Yeah, you. I'm, I'm finally out the upper hand here, huh? Beating up movers doesn't actually do anything. It's kind of hard to earn a bounty. Oh, there's the cops. There's the cops. Run, 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 run. I'm done. I'm done. I don't want to be bad anymore. How much do you want to pay? $1. Job complete. Got 100 bucks cash. Another ticket. Standard chest. Okay, he didn't clear the whole thing, though. Whatever, dude. All right, we kind of did it out of order, but we're fine. We also have the option to take down our bounty via removing wanted posters. Kind of a cool thing. So if we... Okay. Gotta watch out for the cars on the street, for sure. If we find wanted posters around town, we can rip them down, and it takes it down a little bit at a time. It doesn't do a whole lot, but if you're trying to save some money, obviously... It's a much more effective way of doing things. It does seem like we're starting to get a little bit tired. Keep yawning. So I'm trying to find one more poster and we can be done with this. There's one right there. Beautiful. All right, let's take this down. And there it goes. Always keep your eye out for bounty posters and always tear them down when you get the chance. I must say that's a fantastic headshot they got of you. Very handsome and beautiful. I just want you to know that. Uh, well, Ranger, I... Appreciate it, buddy. Got another ticket. Got a standard chest. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why? Why? I have a $10 bounty. I'm clear, sir. I don't want to do this to you, but you've given me no chance. We now have a $55 bounty. We didn't do anything. I'm going to keep looting trash cans, getting $2 a pop. We need to go to the pawn shop. We need to sell our over-encumberedness, and then I think we need to... Uh, we need to sleep. Sell all the junk. We've got chunky boy fries. We've got a prano flat right. Uh, these are just better pieces of food and stuff, which we honestly probably could. We are very hungry right now, so let's. I'm gonna. I'm gonna throw down some fries here, and that brings us almost all the way up. So, I think that's a good first day. I think we need to sleep. We're gonna sleep on the bench here. We don't have a, a bed yet, so. It's uh, not going to be the best sleep we've ever had, but for a petty criminal, it's a good start. We need to figure out how we can offload this car. Can we sell it somewhere? Can we take it to a chop shop? What can we do? This thing's ours, so we might as well make use of it. I'm going to see you guys in our next episode. If you guys want more, let me know. Kind of a fun game. I like it so far. Obviously, just kind of getting into the basics of it, but um, I, I like the grind so far. So, let me know what you guys think. Peace out.